Sorry. That was always going to happen. I was always going to press something when I shouldn't have. <laughs> I should make these buttons bigger. Um, I'm here to talk tonight about the future of racing technology. Um, I'm going to talk to you about our new suit, the newest evolution of our racing technology, which is the Mugello Air, the Air. Now that's pretty cool, right? I love the videos with all the dark stuff. Um, first, I'm going to I'm going to go back to what Cristiano was talking about earlier, which is the thing that underpins everything that we do in Dayanese, which is the the mission that we have to improve safety within dynamic sports. But to do this, to illustrate how we've done this consistently through the history of Dayanese, I'm going to talk to you about our progressive design. You can see from the beginning of the racing suits that we've produced up until the last, uh, the, how can I say, the most recent versions that we have, there's a consistent implementation of innovation to improve the security of our riders. So what are we going to do for the future? What is it that's going to be the future of racing technology and uh, safety within our products? Well, one thing's for sure. The first part of the evolution, or for our new products will be the, um, how can I say, the further improvement, the further enhancement of our DR platform, our DR technology. But the second, how do, how do you actually make a safer suit? Well, one of the key things that you need to do is actually something that no one really talks about. Everybody talks about protectors on the shoulder. Everyone talks about airbags. But not many people actually talk about the structure of the actual suit itself, the architecture of the suit. So this is something that we're really interested in because it's actually, if you think about it, it's one of the weakest potential points of any suit. The materials can be as, as protective as we can possibly make them, but the actual way they join together, based on our experience, is always an area which can always be improved. For this reason, we've created our 3R design concept. This aims to completely reduce the number of pieces in uh, our products to a bare minimum. For example, the, the uh, back of the new suit, actually instead of being made of several separate pieces, is actually made of just one piece of leather. This helps to improve protection because it actually takes what could potentially be a, a weak, not a weak point, but a potential point of, um, how can I say, uh, abrasion or away from... Uh, Excuse me, something Paul Bartel. <laughs> no, <laughs> I can point at Aliana. <laughs> no, actually takes it actually takes the seam construction completely away from somewhere that's at high risk. Um, the second thing we've actually done, we've worked with this suit. We've completely rethought the way we position the uh, seam constructions. We've actually tried to physically move them away from potential areas that are high of high risk of crash uh, abrasion. But this actually with our experience this works well with the ergonomics so for example in this particular case on the leg with the new suit we've actually moved this seam construction that everybody uses and we've actually moved it we've actually moved it away from the high impact area to somewhere where actually it, it helps facilitate the movement the anatomical movement of the human body we've also worked really really hard to remove all the, the potential stitches in this product. So everywhere we could, everywhere we could engineer a solution which actually meant we could seamlessly integrate a component, we've done it. The new titanium sliders, no stitches. The new uh, reinforcements that we have on the arm, arms, no stitches. Not only that, but we've actually moved a lot of the stitches that used to be external, we've actually moved them internally, so they're actually inside the product. So that's an even another layer of protection. I need to get used to this telecommando. Um, with this new product, to actually say it's an evolution is, is not really doing it justice. In this new product, we've actually completely 
redesigned and re-engineered all of the key components. This has led to at least 25 new technical features. From our new titanium sliders that I said about earlier on the shoulders, knee, uh, uh, elbows and knee. All the way through to our certified protections on the inside of the suit. But I've, I'm not going to talk to you about this tonight because I'd still be here in about three weeks time and I think, you know, the swimming pool looks good. So <laughs> I think what I'm really going to focus on in the few minutes of this presentation, I'm going to focus on the key components of this product. And they are the new innovations that we brought to the market. They are our five new patents. The first one I'm going to talk about is our intelligent safety. We've worked effortlessly to improve the level of protection offered by our DO system. So we've actually increased the level of coverage. We've actually brought it down to cover the lower rib cage. This helps to protect, obviously, in low side situations as well, where the, actual, the human body actually can be a problem. Um, it can actually cause injury. We've re-engineered the DR interface. We've re completely redesigned it. And even this, this is, how, this is the attention to detail that we have in terms of product. This is what, what we live and breathe this stuff every day. For us, it, it, it means everything to protect our riders and everyone who puts a Danese suit or a Danese product, or they believe in us and they want them, us to provide them with the, the level of protection that gets them home to the family at night. This is how, how crazy we are about the details. Even the, even the interface is seamlessly integrated to ex exclude another potential weak point. But that's not the best thing. We've added a new feature. For example, imagine the scenario. In a wet race, in low visibility. For example, the rider, as a reference point, has a light. There's some way of indicating where the rider is on the, tra uh, is on the track but only while they're with the motorcycle. What happens if the rider crashes? At that point, the rider's vulnerable. So what's our objective? Our objective is to protect the rider. So for that reason, we want to protect them once they're separated from the bike. This has led to our newest innovation, our, oh, come on. our intelligent emergency lighting system. This is a system that is intelligent. It's active. It's not a passive technology. This is... Um, it's driven and it's actually triggered by our DO technology which activates in the event of a, a crash. Okay, sorry. Then we have, secondly, the second of our new innovations is our adaptive knee construction. One of the things we find with protection is usually when when we talk about suits and we talk about the products, we give a priority to protection, which is great. But in some ways, this often we, we need protection, we need comfort, we need elastication in the same point. And as you can see in this image, we have the protector, which is exactly where it needs to be on the knee. But to allow the level of protection that we require, we've had to physically move the elastication away from the joint. We understood that there was the, the possibility to improve this solution. And for this reason, we've com uh, completely redesigned the knee of this new suit. We've re redesigned the internal and both the, uh, also the external construction. What are the benefits of this? Well, what we did, we, we repositioned the elastic. We worked with the construction to actually move the elastic back to the zone in which it should be. This enables us to keep the protectors in the correct position at all times. And it also allows the elastication to actually move independently, which means you have a greater level of comfort, and comfort also is a, an, a fundamental part of our idea of safety. Protection's important, comfort's important, because comfort, if somebody's not comfortable when they're riding, it's a distraction. You need them to, you need them to be at ease, you need to create as, men, uh, as little problems as you can. And this was something that we've seen the opportunity to improve. The third, I'm going to talk about our engineered textiles. One, one other thing that we've noticed with the suits is, for example, you can see it on my shirt here. In this area, in the areas that are often uh, articulated, there's far too much material, which is great when, in, when you're in one position, but obviously in the racing position, especially for our riders, this causes a lot of discomfort. 
because it often you have a lot of wrinkles that form which create pressure points right on the joint and it can also be a disturbance. For this reason we've, we've utilised a completely new in, uh, material technology and we've engineered seamless inserts that we can decide exactly what structure they have, exactly what material characteristics, what um, how can I say, uh, what crash characteristics, breathability. We've actually managed to integrate them into key areas on the suit. These material, this material, the inserts that I'm about to show you, we engineer them. We design exactly, we understand the human body and we know exactly where to position certain elements. We can apply lots of different areas in the same piece. So we've applied this to the collar to improve the comfort. We've applied this to the arms of the suit. We've also applied this technology to the knees of the suit at the back. All areas where obviously there's a lot of compression. What are the benefits of this? The real improvement in comfort is the fact that not only can we engineer these textiles, we can actually engineer the thickness of them. So for example, in the area that's most uh, prone to compression, we've actually lightened the material. This helps to reduce the amount of wrinkles. But not only that, usually materials are flat pieces of textile. These inserts are not. These are actually three-dimensional inserts that we've worked with to actually uh, pre-curve the piece of textile. So in the key areas, it actually helps to reduce the amount of wrinkles. This increases the uh, comfort dra uh, dramatically. Not only that, we've actually engineered the ventilation directly into the pieces of textile. We design this textile. It's not something we buy, we make it. We, we engineer it and we make it. This is about the time that I could probably do with some water. <laughs> the fourth and fifth of our new innovations are about uh, come from our elbow slider. The first generation of our elbow sliders provided such important feedback back on how we can increase the uh, work, dyna uh, work characteristics, the dynamic characteristics, and all of this is thanks to the feedback that we've gained from our riders and from the suits that we have in our archive. Yep. Okay, so what's the solution? Well, we've actually re-engineered the whole elbow slider and arm construction. And the benefits of this is that this new patented design, based on our research, we were able to understand where we could actually start to remove some material, remove some excess. This means that the solution is light, not only lighter, but the size is reduced, which helps us optimise word and also uh, increase the level of performance. The next part of the innovation to do with this elbow slider is the actual way in which it's attached to the suit. We actually have a quick uh, fastening mechanism where you actually just take the slider, you apply it by, uh, to the elbow, rotate it, it's done. Job's done. There's no screws, there's no stitching, nothing. This has enabled us to actually, re reworking this solution has actually enabled us to dramatically improve the, level, improve the level of protection that we offer in this critical area of the suit. Because it's enabled us, again, to remove seams, to return back to our 3R design concept to actually move the stitches away from the, the, the area that's highly prone to uh, crashes. And lastly, I'll talk about our new trial ax axial elastic. One of our patented technologies was our bioelastic, which actually um, was one unified insert of elastic that run from the back all the way up under, under, to the, arm, uh, under the arms. This allowed us, it's bi biaxial, why? Because it works, the same piece of material works in two different axes. And how does it do that? It does that because it's one continuous channel of elastication. So what have we done for the new suit? We've actually improved on that. We've actually evolved this uh, insert so that now it actually works also with the shoulder construction. So now we have one seamless elasticated channel that doesn't limit the, the movement of the body. The benefits of this is that the new uh, triaxial elastic, and this is the reason for the name, is that it works in three directions in the same moment. 
It works in terms of flexion, rotation and extension of the scapula. This is the new Mugellar uh, DO. This, this product is, is the next benchmark in safety within uh, racing. I thank you for your attention.